Hi everybody, this is Todd Oltoff with Max Stadium coming back at you with another screencast. And this week we're going to continue our look at OwnCloud and we're going to take a look at the web interface and get our various uh, services and things set up so that you're ready to use OwnCloud. So uh, what I thought I'd do is we'll cover all the things on the side here, uh, take a look at an additional service that you can add, and then uh, in another screencast we'll talk about the different uh, clients that you can set up uh, to use OwnCloud. So let's start with the files. So first of all, the files area here, this is where all of your information will be uploaded. So no matter what file you upload, uh, that information will show up in here. So whether it's a video, whether it's audio, um, whether it's a PDF, uh, whatever it is, uh, it will show up in here. So this is kind of like your file system for own cloud, uh, just like you would use in the Finder. And so uh, I can actually add, uh, I can click New here if I wanted to, and I could add a new text file. So I could just do a text file all by myself. I could do a folder if I wanted to to put things in. Uh, or I could do New from a link, and a link to something else like a, a, a file or something like that online. Here I can upload. You can see it's got my upload, uh, my upload max. Uh, I can change that upload max uh, in the settings if I wanted to. If I just uh, came over here uh, and went to uh, admin, let me just click that real quick to show you. And once it loads, I can uh, change the upload size here to something larger if I wanted to. So if I wanted to allow uh, much larger, uh, you know, uploads, I could change it right in here. So let me just go back to files. Just want to show you that you could do that. Uh, so let's just upload a uh, file. So once I click, I can click the uh, upload link here. It'll bring down the drop down for me to be able to find uh, a document to upload. So let's just go here and uh, click this and let's upload this document. I'm just going to click choose. And so then it'll upload uh, the document into OwnCloud, and you can see that it's uploaded it, and there it is right there. Now, once I've uploaded a file, uh, I, have the, um, I have the ability to rename it if I want to. Uh, I can download it. Uh, I can also look at different versions of the file. So if I've made changes to it, the nice thing about OwnCloud is it does track versions, uh, similar to what you see in Dropbox. So you'll be able to do that. And I can also share the file. Uh, with somebody else, and then it gives me the size and, and, and those types of things. So that's one way that I can, I can do that. Now, like I said, I can upload uh, various files if I wanted to. So for instance, let me upload, uh, let's upload a music file. Okay, so we're going to upload this uh, music file right here. Let's choose that. And so now it's uploaded that, and you can see that it gives you the icon there to let you know that it is a music file. Uh, so I can continue to do that uh, all the way across here uh, with uploading different files. And what I'm going to do is show you how to do that and what this looks like as I show you the different services. Now you'll notice along the side here we have all these uh, services that we have available to us. We've got music, contacts, calendar, and pictures. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to set those up. So let's go to music. Since I did upload a music file, the nice thing is OwnCloud does recognize that it is a music file and uh, actually adds it right into my music library. And so OwnCloud has its own uh, online player, so you can uh, add your basically all your audio files on here if you wanted to store those on your server. And uh, that way you can play them from any web browser, and of course you could download them as well. Uh, if I just click uh, this button over here, you can see it's added it uh, to this side uh, here. And once I click it, it starts to play the file. And so... Uh, it adds all that information in there, starts to play the file, and you can add a playlist here if you wanted to and set that up. So let me just uh, click pause here. Uh, you can forward through the song, you can go reverse as well. But again, you can set your own playlist with all your songs, just label them over here and it will start to play them in order. Uh, one of the things to understand about the music uh, plugin is that uh, it is uh, a little bit picky. It only plays MP3 and uh, AUG files. So if you've got uh, you know, your Apple Music in iTunes, you got it stored as, you know, uh, M, uh, MP4s uh, or MPA, I guess is how Apple does it. Uh, those files won't play natively uh, in own cloud. So you'll need to convert them to MP3 uh, before you upload them into the into own cloud itself. Uh, so anyway, so that's the music uh, plugin right there. Next, we've got going down, we've got a contacts plugin. And you can actually store all of your contacts on here just like you would with iCloud or uh, you know Google contacts or anything like that. Uh, you can set up your own contacts right in here. Uh, you can create a new group if you want to. You just click new group and it just sets it up here. And let's say, uh, I don't know, let's make something up, store. You know, So you've got a store group, so you add that. Now you've got a group where you can 
uh, you know, drag people that are related to your store in here. And so these are just all your various groups. So very simple to work with. Uh, you can also add your own new contact uh, in here uh, if you want to. So if I click new contact, you see I get this nice uh, contact card uh, that shows up. Let me see. Let me just get rid of this for a minute so I can go back. Let's do that one more time here. Uh, so I've got this nice contact card where I can then put in uh, the information uh, about the person that I'm, uh, you know, that I'm looking at here. So let's say, uh, you know, Joey Doe, for instance, and then I can select the group uh, that I want this person to be in. And so the drop down comes here. And I can say, you know, additional names. That's his first name. There's a last name. Uh, so I can do that as well if I have other names for him that I want to use to uh, do the setup there. I can put in a nickname, title, organization, his birth date. Uh, I can put notes about the person here. Uh, I can also add uh, other information if I want to, like a website. If I wanted to have their website on there, now that pops up. I can put his website in. And so I can just go through and add all this information. I can also upload a picture if I want to, upload a new photo, or select a photo from OwnCloud if I've already uploaded one uh, already. So it's a, it's a pretty slick just uh, interface there that you can use right on the web. And so I'm just going to delete this because what I want to show you is I want to show you how, uh, you know, how, that you, how you can upload your contacts uh, into OwnCloud so that it works uh, with the contacts uh, program here. So you can see here we've got an add contact or we've got an import, and it says it'll import a VCF file. So what I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you how that works. If I come into my contacts here, my Apple contacts, uh, I've got uh, all my information up here. And so I want to get uh, this contact information into OwnCloud. So you come up here to File, and you go to Export, and you want to export uh, the V card. So in order to do that, before you make that work, let me just do something here. You need to select all of the um, people here that you want to export. So I want to export all of these uh, on here. So I go up to File, and then I click uh, Export, and then export V card right here. And so now it asks me where I want to put it. Okay, so I've got my V card right here. I'm going to put it in documents. I'm going to save it. Okay, so now I've exported these contacts into there. So let me just put this down. Now I'm going to uh, actually import uh, the, the VCF file that I've got. And so it says import right here. I'm going to select the file. And I know it's in my documents. And it's right here. You can see there's the VCF card right there. It's got uh, all my people in it. And I'm going to say choose. And now it's going to go through the process of importing these four contacts. And so now it says it has uh, imported them. And so let's go. It's going to reset itself now. And once it's done that, you can see that when I go to all, here are all my contacts that I had. Uh, so if I click on it, there's my information on uh, Apple that I had. And so it makes it really nice to be able to set that up so that you can export whatever you've already got in your contacts and move it into OwnCloud. Now, once you've done that, then you'll use uh, OwnCloud as uh, your contact manager, and you can do that and integrate it with uh, contacts on all of your different devices. Okay, next what we're going to do is let's take a look at the calendar service. Now, we're going to do uh, a very similar thing with that. Let me just click on the calendar service here so that can load. And you can see we've got a standard calendar here. Uh, we have the option to look at it by week, view, uh, month, or list. Again, if you had a, a bunch of activities and things, the list would show up here. Let me just go back to month. I can scan through it. I can go to today. You can see it's highlighted, all those kinds of things. Uh, I've also got up here a settings gear uh, where I can uh, basically I've got a default calendar. I can also set up a new calendar if I wanted to. Create a display name, pick a color, and save it. Uh, and then I can set up the time zone, uh, how I want the time format to be set up. I've got URLs and things that I can use. So uh, it really gives me uh, an easy way to, uh, to set up uh, a new calendar and be able to put the calendars to work in here. Let me just uh, close this because I don't want to do that. Uh, so basically, that's how the calendar works. Now, uh, if I want to get my existing calendars into OwnCloud so I can start using that, uh, I've got to do a similar thing to what I did with contacts. So if I just go into calendar here, let me pull that up. You can see I've got my work calendar here and I want to uh, export this, uh, what I can do is if I just uh, control click on work, I can say export and it's going to bring down this little uh, drop down. I'm going to put it in my documents folder and it's going to export an ICS file. So let me put this down. And what I got to do to get uh, my calendar into the calendar uh, plugin, however, is I've got to go to files and I've got to upload that ICS uh, profile first. 
So I come here, I click the uh, Upload button, and there you can see there's my work uh, file that I just exported. I'm going to choose this, and now it's got it uploaded here. You can see that it's already set up here. Now, if I all I got to do now is just click on it, and now I get this import uh, calendar file. I can import it to the default calendar, or I can actually create a new one, and that's what I want to do. And so you see I get this drop down here. It's already labeled work, so I can keep it the same name. Now I can choose a color. So let's say I want to go with this color. You can see it changed it. And then I click import. And so now it says the three events that I have are now saved to my uh, calendar. And so I'm just going to close this down. And now let's go take a look at calendar and see what shows up. And you can see there's my events for the next three days. There's the events I've got uh, set up. You can see that I've got uh, my information on it. If I click on it, uh, I can change the event info and uh, go ahead and make the changes like I normally would make uh, inside uh, the calendar application. I've got some advanced uh, options here uh, as well. I can pick location and description of the event if I want to do that. I can set it up as a repeating event if I want, and I can also share this event uh, with other people. I can share the event with people uh, inside uh, my own cloud setup or uh, other people that I want to uh, send that information to, and I can also then export it. So it does give me some flexibility. You can see it is a it is a full fledged calendaring app, and uh, like I said, as I show I'll show you on the client side, uh, you can actually subscribe to this calendar, and then everything will stay in sync across all of your devices. So that's how the calendar uh, application works. Now let's look at the uh, pictures area over here. You can see if I click on uh, pictures, uh, I have no pictures here because nothing's been uploaded, and you see I don't I can't upload anything inside here. Uh, that's because it works the same as it did with calendars. I need to upload a picture first. So let's go here over to my pictures, and I'm just going to upload, uh, let's say, a screenshot right here. Let's upload that. So now you can see the photo has been uploaded, and I can you know, manipulate it here if I want to. Or if I just go over to pictures, it automatically senses that it was a picture and shows the picture right here. And if I click on it, it'll give me the full screen view, and I can actually browse through all of my photos. If I had more than one, I could go back and forth. Uh, it gives a nice fold photo uh, viewer. So let me click that down. So that kind of shows you the basic uh, different uh, plugins that are on the side over here. If I go back to my files, one more uh, upload I want to show you is it does handle uh, video files as well. So if I upload a, a movie file, I've got one here. Uh, one of the things I did find is that it does struggle uh, with different formats. Uh, the FLV format seems to have worked the best for the in-browser uh, viewer. Uh, so I, I did have problems with uh, .mov and uh, mp4, uh, so uh, you might have to convert that uh, over to Flash. But let me just uh, show you, because I just wanted to show you how it works. Uh, hopefully that will be uh, corrected in the future. But if I just uh, click on it, it will bring up a, a video viewer uh, for me here uh, that will allow me to view my video. And uh, like I said, I've had uh, hit and miss with this uh, for the video working. Uh, but uh, when I did the uh, FLV, it does. I just picture my son throwing a baseball. So there you go. Um, so anyway, uh, very uh, kind of a simple deal there, uh, but it'll let you uh, see how that works. It does have a built-in viewer right inside the browser. Again, when we look at the client side of things, you'll see how these things uh, sync up and uh, how they work within uh, a client experience. And then I'll also probably spend a little bit uh, more time showing you some of the other plugins that you can use to customize OwnCloud to make it your own. So that's all I have for this week. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac in a hosted environment.